This Engineering is Elementary Digital How-To will demonstrate the assembly of the sample windmill base for Lesson 4, Part 1 of Catching the Wind, Designing Windmills. To construct the base of the windmill, you will need the following materials. One half-gallon juice carton, empty and washed. Two or three styrofoam balls, about three inches in diameter a roll of masking tape, a roll of string, one three ounce paper cup, one wooden dowel, 12 inches long with a quarter inch diameter, and one washer with a three eighths inch center diameter, large enough to fit over the dowel. First, you will measure and create the holes through which you will insert the main drive shaft, the dowel. On one face of the carton, measure a location for a hole horizontally centered about an inch and three quarters from the top of the carton. Punch out the hole using a pen or pencil. Create a hole on the opposite face in the same location. Make sure the holes are properly aligned or the dowel will not spin easily. The diameter of each hole should be just slightly larger than the dowel. Then, place something heavy inside the carton to prevent the windmill base from tipping over during testing. Suggested weights include water, pebbles, pennies, washers, or marbles. Next, insert the dowel through the two holes. The dowel should be parallel to the floor and able to spin freely. Tie a string to the dowel on one side of the carton, leaving several inches between the knot and the end of the dowel. Secure the knot in place using masking tape. Note, it is important to leave enough room between the knot and the end of the dowel. This will prevent the string from slipping off the end of the dowel as it wraps around during testing. Cut the string about 15 inches from the knot. Attach the small cup to the string, allowing the cup to hang approximately 12 inches below the dowel. Make sure the knot is centered so the cup will hang parallel to the ground. Next, slide a washer onto the dowel on the opposite side of the carton until it is flush against the carton. The dowel should be able to spin freely. Push a styrofoam ball onto the end of the dowel that is opposite the cup. This ball is the hub into which students will insert their windmill blades. Make sure the ball is centered on the end of the dowel. Secure the ball to the dowel with masking tape so that they both rotate together. During testing, replace any styrofoam ball that can no longer firmly hold blades or the dowel. When using the windmill base during testing, be sure to stop the cup as soon as the string is fully wound around the dowel. Otherwise, the weights may fall out as the cup spins around the shaft. 